Hey everybody, Curseus here with some more Stormfall Saga of Survival. So, we have just started a XP event coming off the, uh, the Battlethon event, which was kind of meh because it was all about killing spiders and we couldn't really even get to the rare reward just because the point cap on it was so high that you know you'd have to like the whole your whole clan would have to raid like 50 dark woods or 50 cursed woods all together each to even get there so uh you know just a, a note to plarium you know implement clan levels and let us start increasing our uh our capacity for members anyways so I've already just woke up today and started recording, and I have made 5,400 points without even leaving my house. Now, how did I do it? Was it by upgrading, uh, you know, upgrading workstations? No. Actually, no, it wasn't because I don't have any of the material to upgrade anymore in my workstations at the moment. The answer lies in this box right here. Scrolls. Every time you read a scroll, you get 100 XP for the event. So boom, boom, boom. This makes it so I've read 57 scrolls on this event. And boom, I have 5740 points now. So... For the most part, reading scrolls gets you 100 points apiece, so before every XP event starts, you should save scrolls like crazy. I'm just saying because it'll, not only will it make you look like you are active in your clan, even if you're not, like seriously, like save 100 scrolls, get 10,000 points, and you won't even get bitched at by your clan members, you know? So, you know, save those scrolls, use them. They are fantastic. And as always, too, by the way, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, do all that awesomeness, and, uh, you know, let's move on here. So here we go, here we go. Oh, by the way, and a link to my Discord channel it will be in the description. Uh, come join the Discord. I have all the permissions. Everything's working right. Everyone can read the channels. Um, but for people that have like uh, full on access, I think I have it set up correctly, so I have to tag you as just as a member of the channel, and then that's it. So actually, I am here just to get mostly just iron ore. Uh, I probably actually I will get the uh, the clay too. Actually, so yeah, come here, clay. Good clay. And then we just split the clay into two stacks. And then we'll just split this iron ore into a whole bunch of stacks. Because that's how I operate it for when I clear all the enemies. I always come in here, I start off hitting a few of the uh, nodes. And then, then I just go through the place. Okay, let's find stuff to kill. Ow. And as you may notice, by the way, I have been collecting my free gift from the smuggler every day. And I do encourage you to use the smuggler, even though uh, I've found out that the, uh, the gift is the same for everybody. I would really still suggest that people uh, people use the smuggler, just because uh, you know, like I said, it helps Plarium uh, monetize the game, helps them make money to continue development of the game, and if they can continue developing the game, that means and make money off of it without having to um, incentivize the cash shop that's a good thing 
Ooh. So now we'll move uh, move some stuff over here. But yeah, so if they can make money without incentivizing the cash shop, that's a good thing. Because then they won't uh, they won't be incentivizing the cash shop. <laughs> I mean that, that's just you know that, that that's just the straight up uh, best reason for you to make use of the uh, ad system for them. So yeah, so if they're not incentivizing the cash shop. It means that they are making enough money to develop the game. And if they're making enough money to develop the game, that means they can add in better better free features for you to uh, take advantage of in the future that will make the game even better. Spiders, I hate you. I hate you, spiders. What broke is the pan pants and gloves. That's okay. I expected that. Die, spider. Die, golems. You dirty animated constructs. And here's a, a bear. This isn't a dirty animated construct, but it's definitely dirty. Anyway, so we'll open this box up. And by the way, we're at 5,715 subscribers for the month of March. And tomorrow is my birthday, by the way. I don't know what I'll be doing, but I'll be doing something. Hey, look at that. I've been finding more and more horseshoes lately, too. I really don't need any of that. I mean, I'll take the horseshoes because, like I said, in the future... Trading items with your clan members should be a thing. So I will be holding on to all the horseshoes and horse stable items I can get my hands on. So that I can help out new players, new members of the clan and stuff. Stupid spiders. I hate you all. I hate you spiders. Uh, that was dirty. Anyway. By the way, I think I have noticed that they uh, they nerfed armor and weapons, the durability on them. They decreased the dur durability and uh, durability on armor. As compared to weapons. Because I, I definitely think I have noticed that there's Less durability on regular uh, sets of armor. Which is okay, I guess. But they, when they do that, though, they are... Uh, it's obvious that they're incentivizing the cash shop. Which means they're not making enough money on the game. So, you know, like I said, uh, use that smuggler. Get them to stop incentivizing the cash shop. Anyways. But yeah, the more people use the smuggler to get the free stuff, the less uh, Plarium will incentivize the cash shop. So that's always a good thing. And what do we got here? Ooh, a free axe. Uh, do, 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 do. I will take that. Thank you. Is that all the enemies? No, it wasn't. I'm sure it wasn't, but, you know. Die, spider. And was that the last enemy? Nope. Aha! Uh, were you the last enemy? Nope. Were you the last enemy? Yes, you were. Haha. -ha. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and collect all this up while I talk. And that's actually another thing that I've mentioned to Plarium. And if I understood them right uh, on this subject, that it is a feature that will be coming to the auto collection system is that you should be able to 
uh, in the future, in a future future update. It's not like it, this is a high priority uh, feature, but you should be able to filter what items you want your character to auto collect when you clear an area. Like I, I think I think they said that it's it's on the to do list, but it's not a priority. So. So it should be something to that will be coming in the future, and uh, huh. so that's pretty much it. But yeah, so we're gonna collect uh, all the uh, clay and iron that's in the area that I can, because I need clay brick, I need iron bars, I need all that stuff. And I was at fifty-seven. 40, I think for points. So we'll see how many points I have after I clear all the uh, stuff here before I go into the tunnels here Which I am gonna go into the tunnels. I just want to clear all the uh, stuff up top here first Because I'm curious as to how many points you know collecting all the stuff you can collect or the stuff you want to collect and uh, Clearing out all the enemies uh, does for you. Oh yeah, give me that iron. I need that iron ore. I need to make iron bars, baby. I need those iron bars. Oh yeah, hit that iron road. So much iron in a, uh... This is rugged cliffs? No, this is, uh, rocky spires. Yeah, there's a lot of iron in Rocky Spires. Like, uh, the Rocky Spires is the best place to go get your uh, your iron and clay just because there's a ton of it. You can get a ton of stone, too, if you need a ton of stone. Like, this is where you this is where you should go. All right, inventory full. And we're talking two stacks plus four. Two stacks there. There's probably actually more more uh, clay, but I really don't need to care about it. Did I get this? I knew I didn't get it. I knew that it felt that box felt like I didn't get it. So what's in the box? And I'll take that. And I believe the tunnels yep, was right here. And we go into the tunnels here. There should be some anthracite. Uh, let's see, anthracite and Can you just kill that. Oh boy! And these guys attack fast too, by the way. There's a few, quite a few of them down here. Oh, he didn't have any uh, anthracite. And the herb seeds I will take. But what do I drop for... Uh, actually, you know what? I'll just use this. And then I'll just put that there. That way I can collect the anthracite. Which there's some right here. So yeah, you want to get the an oh wait wait hold on no 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 no. I wanted to see what my points were at for the event now. After just clearing the upstairs, sixty three hundred from so that was about six hundred points, give or take uh, the two enemies I killed for just clearing the uh, the rocky spires above. So let's just continue on here. Kill the dirty spiders. Oh yeah. Where's this guy? Oh yeah, there's another one. Because I just love these guys. These guys drop anthracite, so you gotta make sure to check them. There's the big chest. I'll open the big chest. We'll see what's in the big chest. I am looking for steel grain so I can upgrade my uh, 
my uh, furnace because I need to make steel bars. Um, oh, damn. Really? I don't have my horse either. I'll come back for this stuff. That was a really good chest. Nope, nope, nope. Three, four, five. And I almost have a full stack of anthracite just from uh, being down here. Ah, but now I'm going to waste some. Um, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do for a Klondike bar? Uh, I want this. I don't necessarily need this. Two, three, four. Okay, so I didn't break it. I was hoping to break the, uh, the axe. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna try and break this pickaxe. You, sir. Aren't very nice. There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna try and break this pickaxe. That would be most preferable. Okay, you just go away. And another golem. Ooh. These guys attack fast, like I said, they, they hurt. Oh, there we go, I broke the weapon. That works, okay. Because I don't want to waste any anthracite. So this all works out now. By the way, okay, there's still enemies down here. Is that it? Yep, that was it. All right, and yep. Okay, cool. Auto it, and we'll go get all the anthracite and stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm just gonna split that up so I can not collect stone off the floor. It's just kind of a waste of time. There we go. Thank you, sir. So I got 25 anthracite out of a uh, uh, rocky spires, which is actually really good. Like I said, rocky spires is where you want to hit if you want all your uh, resource needs for the most part. Because I got like two and a half, almost three stacks of iron ore. Yeah, over over two and a half stacks of iron ore. And over a stack of anthracite and two stacks of uh, clay. And really that's, you know, that's actually a lot. So like you can hit like two rocky spires a day and probably have enough resources to go for at least a day or two anyways so thank you guys so much for watching this is all i time for the blah, 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 all i have the time for right now so thank you for watching make sure to like subscribe hit share hit that notification bell do all that good stuff and as always i'll see you all in the next video bye bye